an intriguing matchup for Brad Keller who has struggled with walks and the White Sox offense has the fewest walks of any offense in the American League and Anderson's on with a leadoff walk. So this gets right into what Brian Sweeney and Matt Quattrero have talked about. How quickly will he shake off this leadoff walk and that's back to back walks. The only two strikes he has so far was a called strike on a slider and then a slider away and Anderson may have helped him out by fouling it away and a chance for two out at second and a double play. Look at Duffy. That's what you do. You take everything you can. By the time Junior gets to it, it may have been too late. Keller has thrown 20 pitches, eight strikes, and a slider struck him out. Keller does not allow a run. No hits. Man left. Bottom of the first we go. No score. Royals coming up. There's a look at Lance Lynn going the mound against a team that he loves to pitch against. On for his eighth start, his ERA is up there. You look at a lot of strikeouts for innings pitched. His control has been good. First pitch, Bobby Witt Jr. sends it sailing to right. Gavin Sheets is parked. And there's on number one. Vinny Pasquantino, he homered in the first inning last night against Lucas Giolito. Always ready when the count is 0-2, and, and Vinny gets another hit and another double, his 13th. Salvi today is celebrating his 33rd birthday, and he has a chance to drive in a run. And that's up the left field line. He has driven in eight on the homestand. He is digging for second. And the Royals have back-to-back one-out doubles. Happy birthday, buddy. Out of way, Salvi. Way to pick up a, a ribby. Loves that ball down or up. It doesn't really matter if it's over the plate. He's going to hit it hard. So two outs. The batter is Prado. But the Royals lately have been getting big hits with two outs. And he's going to get another one. Melendez is around third. Olivares goes to third. The throw goes to third. So Prado comes through again with two outs. And the Royals lead 2 0. Tenth RBI and another hard hit ball. I mean, Lynn just comes right at you. Keeps coming. The Royals are wait, waiting for him. Duffy will be the seventh man that he faces. Duffy was reaching. And out of Andrew's glove. Another run will score. Gavin Sheets never looked comfortable with that fly ball, and Andrews tried to bail him out. So 3 0 Royals. And now Michael Massey, who. It's better than 400 against his hometown team. And now Massey hits it into center field on a 1-2 pitch. Prado scores. Duffy goes to third. Well, the Royals just teeing off. As I said, this is extended batting practice. Now it's four to nothing. And the White Sox will have runners at first and third with nobody out. Now the hot Alberto, seven out of 18 on this trip with seven RBIs. This is into left. Hanser Alberto has the Sox first run, and it's four to one in the second. Hanser takes it through the left side. It's a hanging slider, and he just eases it by wit. Inning rolls along, two on, still nobody out, and one in. And he chased the slider away, and Keller has his first out in the second. And now first and third for Tim Anderson. To right field, Melendez is there. So Keller battles and allows the White Sox just one in the second. Well, Brad Keller has walked three in his first three innings, but all three came against the first five hitters. And he just had a one, two, three top of the third inning. Grounded off of Keller's glove. Massey throws just in time. Boy, I tell you, that, that is a lot of luck involved, no question. Keller could have knocked it down even more to have been a base hit. Massey stops going one direction 100% has a turnaround backhand good flip the fourth now at Kauffman Stadium Royals lead the White Sox four to one and Michael Massey leads off against Lance Lynn Massey drills it deep toward right center field Robert Jr. back onto the track at the fence and it's gone Michael Massey's first home run of the season it comes against his hometown team and the Royals extend their lead. It's five to one in the bottom of the fourth inning. What a swing. Look at him. Now he skied this. He got way under it. It looked like it might not quite make it because of the height, but he tagged it and it had carry on a very low wind night. That was all Massey. So the Royals continue their home run streak. It's at nine straight. Eaton gets a hold of one out in the left center. On the move is Robert. He dives and makes the catch. Luis Robert Jr. just robbed Nate Eaton of possibly a triple. What a catch.
Nick Prado has a hit a run tonight. He's also grounded out but he has scored a run after reaching on a RBI hit in the first inning. Prado jolts it to deep right field and gone. He has driven in three tonight. A two run homer for Nick Prado and the Royals add to their lead at seven to one. And the fireworks go off at Kauffman Stadium. And that new pitcher for the White Sox is right hander Nick Padilla who's making his White Sox debut. Facing 9 1 2 in the Royals lineup, starting with Nate Eaton, then back to the top. Oh man, Nate Eaton. Out on a nice play by Andrews. He is 0 for 2 with a walk tonight, and both outs with a smile on his face. What a great attitude. Bottom of the seventh inning at Kauffman Stadium, and the Royals lead the White Sox 8 to 1. And that's blasted to left field. Benintendi goes back. Oh! the way back and it's wet into the water. Olivares gives the Royals a 9-1 lead. It's the Royals third home run of the game and they now lead it 9-1 in the bottom of the seventh. Massey's two for three tonight. RBI single in the first. His home run came in the fourth inning. 1-0 pitch. Massey loops it down the right field line. Base hit bouncing toward the right field corner. Massey rounds first base and he jogs his way to second. Now Sheets bobbles the ball. Massey turns second, heads to third, and he's there standing. So whether they score it a double and an error or a triple, it is a double. And now Massey is a triple shy of the cycle. All right, fellas, here's Taylor Clark for the ninth inning with the Royals leading 9-1, and Taylor will get the lower third of the order. Salvi got his birthday wish or, or he's one out away from it. 0 oh and 2. Nobody on two out and a swing and a miss and the game has ended. And the Royals with another big night on offense and with three more home runs. One from Massey one from Prado one from Olivares. They win big and beat the White Sox 9 1.